In a previous video from Reports Your Way, we looked at an example of using JetReport's NL filter function to filter a report using data from a separate table than from where we are getting the data for our report. In this video, we'll look at how we can use JET's link equals feature to do the same type of filtering and when we would choose this method over using NL filter. When deciding which of these methods to use, the first consideration is whether the tables you are using represent a one-to-many relationship, for which link equals tends to be the best choice, or a many-to-one relationship, for which NL filter can be the better option. Let's look at an example to see what that means. Let's assume that we want a list of customers who had transactions last month. We could simply look through our list of transactions and, when we find one that had a transaction last month, add it to our list. Doing this with JIT reports is pretty easy. We simply create an NL rows function based on our transaction table and show each customer who has a transaction record within our needed date range. However, let's consider that maybe our table of transactions is quite large, maybe a million or two million or even larger. In order to generate our list of seven customers, we had to look through every single transaction. And as time goes by, that table is only going to get larger and larger. For the sake of simplicity, let's assume we have 26 customers. What if we could start with that small list and simply ask, for each customer, did they have a transaction last month? Did Angelina have a transaction last month? Yes. Did Bart have a transaction last month? Yes. Kathy, Dominic, Everett, Fran? Yes. George, Henry, Ingrid? No. Janice? Yes. Etc. In this way, we only have to look at each customer one time and ask if there are any transactions for last month. We do not have to examine all 1 million transactions. This is an example of our one-to-many relationship. For each customer, we can have many transactions. How could we build that connection between the tables? This is perfect for using JET's link equals feature. In JET, it looks like this. We create a list of rows, but instead of looking at the transaction table, we use our master table, in this case the customer table, and show our customer number. And then we use the special link equals filter to tie in with our transaction table. We need to specify the field or fields that tie these two tables together. As you can see, JET automatically knows that the customer number field in NAV's customer ledger entry table ties to the number field in the customer table. And finally, specify any additional filters we want. In our example, adding the posting date to only look at those records within our desired time period. It's that simple. Now we only have to look at each record in our much smaller master table one time. And then link equals can quickly determine if there are any records in our transaction table which match our needed criteria. We hope this helps you use this simple but powerful feature of Jet Reports. Please see our other YouTube videos for more helpful tips and techniques. Thank you for watching.